Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. All right, this is the last uh, piece of the tutorial for Snoopy. I know it's been in so many phases, but it was quite, it, it, you know, it's a big project. And so I had to break it down and then we had issues and then we're doing all these different pieces. So, so far, just to catch you up to date, we've done the design space, we put it together and then we did the lights and now the last piece is now that all the lights are in, um, we need to make it stable. So this one's going to be really difficult because this is the well first one. It's the first time I've ever done an off the mat with lights. So the thing with lights are the bulbs are, mm, they're like half an inch up. So when I'm looking at this piece, so let me put Snoopy upright. We need to make sure that this bottom part right here has good support because that's what it's standing on. And so I think if we, and then we need this top part to give us support right here. So I think what we should do, <laughs> and this is an experiment, um, I'm gonna do the regular board that we normally would. And then we're gonna kind of like cut out this middle area where the lights are, because we need access to the lights so that we can take out these little tabs so that the lights turn on. So we can't close off access to that, but we can maintain like a lot of support here. And then I think in the middle, we start building out using dowels in between the foam board. I know I'm talking craziness right now. So let's, Let's just get our foam board and do what we normally would do, which is I think I'm gonna do it like this. So, you know, like I was saying earlier, Snoopy was like a really big project, even though it's the normal size that I normally would do at 30 inches. But because he's more square, 30 inches means he's 30 inches this way and 30 inches this way, as opposed to like Baby Grinch where he's so narrow we were able to still like easily do him even though he's 30 inches. This one is just like wide and big. So um, I'm looking at this now and I think I want to support Snoopy and maybe do something like this. Okay, so keep in mind, so this is the foam board from the Dollar Tree. It's black on both sides. So because we have the lights on the one side, I normally would trace it, right? But we're going to be doing the mirror image because I can't get this flat any other way. So I want to make sure that this is supported as much as possible. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's see. I want Snoopy supported. I think it's more important to have the top and bottom supported. So I think this is a good compromise. This whole top half will have foam board. This bottom half will have a lot of foam board here. So I think